In this next example, example 10.2, we're going to look at the conversion across a reactor with these two reactions taking place in the reactor. So A plus B goes to C, and then A plus C, C gets degraded into D. And when we look at these two reactions across the reactor and use the component molar flow rates as our variables, then we find out that we actually end up with six different linear equations to solve. And so we're going to use a MATLAB to solve this system of linear equations. Now to put it again into context, we've already examined the uh, two gases that are flowing in these two pipes, which are now mixed at this point. And when they are combined with the recycle stream here, we have all four components, A through D, going into the reactor. We have a particular conversion across the reactor, and then all four components coming out. So our goal is to find all of the unknown variables using MATLAB. So to do this, we want to first write out our four material balances, our single path conversion equation, and our selectivity equation. And when we do that, we get, for our material balance for A, we have the molar flow rate of A coming out equals that coming in minus the two extensive reaction. We have our molar flow rate of B coming out equals that coming in minus the extent of the first reaction. For C coming out equals C coming in plus the first extent of reaction minus the second because it is made in the first reaction and, and degraded in the second. And then for our component for D coming out equals D going in plus the second extent of reaction. So those are our four material balances. And then for our single pass conversion, what we have is one minus the molar flow rate of A coming out over the molar flow rate of A coming in is equal to 0.70, because that's a 70% conversion. And for our selectivity, the desired moles of our desired product, which is N dot of C2, minus n dot c1, those are the moles of c that are formed in the reaction, divided by those of our undesired product is equal to 4. So that's our selectivity of 4. Now note that I said they were linear equations. These two equations are nonlinear, but they can be rewritten as linear. So we can rewrite these unknowns, or these equations, as linear. And what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the equations, even the first four equations, which were already linear. And we're going to move it so that all the unknowns are on the left-hand side and the knowns on the right-hand side. Now, the knowns are the four molar flow rates coming in, as you saw in this problem specification. And the unknowns are the four molar flow rates coming out and C.1 and C.2. And so here are our equations. And we're going to let this vector x of our unknowns be the unknowns in this order. So n dot a2 through d2, and then c1 dot and c2 dot. Now we can then put this equation, these equations into matrix format. When we put them into matrix format, it's going to look kind of like a table. So each row of this table will correspond to a different equation. So the first four rows will be the material balances for a through d. The fifth row will be the single pass conversion equation. And the sixth row will be the equation for the selectivity. Now each column corresponds to the coefficient of a particular variable. So the first column will be the coefficients of n dot a2, the second for n dot b2, et cetera, et cetera, finally c1 dot and c2 dot. And so if we look at the material balance for a, then in this material balance, the coefficient of n dot a2 is 1. So we'll put a 1 here. There's no n dot b2, n dot c2, or n dot d2 there. The coefficient for c1 dot is 1, and the coefficient for c2 dot is also 1. For the material balance on b, which is the second equation here, the coefficient for n dot b2 is 1, and for c1 dot is 1, all the rest are 0. For c, the coefficient for n dot c is 1. The coefficient for c1 dot is negative 1. And the coefficient for c2 dot is 1, and so on and so forth for d, and also for the single pass conversion and the selectivity equation. Now, in addition to constructing our matrix of coefficient values, 
we also have to construct our vector of knowns. So this vector is a column vector, which we call b. I'm going to write it as a row vector because it's easier to write it in this little space here as a row vector. But if our vector of knowns, as we look on the right-hand side and go down by each equation, we have n dot a1, n dot b1, n dot c1, n dot d1. The known on the right-hand side of the single-pass conversion equation, the fifth equation, is 0 0.7 times n dot a1. And the known on the right-hand side of the selectivity equation is n dot c1 minus 4 n dot d1. So that's our vector. And I'm going to put this little t here for transpose to show that it's supposed to be a column vector. Now, once we have the matrix and the vector of knowns in this format, we can use the MATLAB's backslash operator to find all unknowns. So to see how that works, let's look over at MATLAB and the script that I've written. So in this script, oops, this is supposed to be 10.2. <clears throat> we have our input molar flow rates shown here. And I've also, in the comments section, written out all of the, the equations that we're solving for. I've inputted the matrix M here. And note, I didn't have to enclose each row within the, its own little set of square brackets, but I did that anyway because I like the way it looks. So it helps me understand the code better when I go back and look at it. I have my vector of knowns. Now note, it looks like a row vector, but there are semicolons here. It means it's a column vector. And then all I have to do after I do that is write x equals m backslash b. And so this is kind of similar to saying m inverse times b, but it's a much more, it's a much faster and more computational efficient way of doing that. And it's also more computationally accurate in most cases. And so once I do that, I'm going, going to go ahead and display these outputs as shown here using the disp function. And when I run this, then MATLAB tells me that our, my exiting molar flow rates are these. And here are my C dots.